Hello, I'm Diane and welcome to my channel. If you've watched before, you'll have seen that I've made quite a number of items from the Till 8 stretch book. Now I did say that I was finished with this for now and that I've made all the patterns that I was going to make. I made all of them bar one. But I have decided today I'm going to use up a few more scraps and I'm going to make the Frankie baseball t-shirt again. But this time I'm going to do it as a short sleeve version. So I've been having a little bit of a sort through some of my scrap fabrics and I came across this black piece here behind me which is not a very big size but it is just big enough to do the front and the back of a t-shirt and also I have a bigger piece of pink fabric so I might make a cameo or something with this in the future. This was um, used for a dress but there's quite a big piece left it was a project I had to do for some work and they sent me more fabric than I needed so I have quite a big piece left and I will use that in future but it is just the right shade to make the sleeves for this top now the last time that I made this t-shirt I did show you to do it on your normal machine and just use a stretch stitch and a stretch or ballpoint needle but today I'm going to put it together on my overlocker because I just want this to be nice and quick and it's just a t-shirt I can throw on when I go out on my bike. Nothing best, just something to throw on and I could do with a few of these just little throw on t-shirts so I'll be using up quite a few of my scraps to do this. So this is the first one, I'm going to cut the pieces out and you can sew along with me if you wish. Now, as you can see here, it's not a very big piece I've got left, so I have to be a bit creative with my placing and cutting out. So, this is just a casual t-shirt, so I'm not going to be too uptight about which direction the pattern's going in. But they, are, they, they do all need to be going in the same direction. So, normally, this would be going so that these flowers, the stalks, are going upwards like that. I've sort of turned it on its side so that I can fold it inwards to get both pieces out of it. So here is my front and here is my back. My fronts do overlap a little bit at the bottom of the scrap of fabric that I've got left. So I'm not going to be doing a curve, I'm going to be making it straighter at the bottom of the t-shirt just to make sure that I've got enough fabric here. So I'm going to cut those, pin those on and cut those out now. So I've cut my neck band piece out of pink and I've cut my sleeves out of the pink. This needs a bit of an iron, this is a bit crumpled. And I've just cut it as a short sleeve this time. So I have the back of my t-shirt here and I've got two notches and here I have my sleeve pieces. Find the right side of it and you're going to match two notches. So I don't want that one because that's the other side. That's the right side of my fabric. There's my two notches. I'm going to match those there with the ones on the back. And I'm going to stitch that sleeve into position on my overlocker with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now my overlocker is very old and very noisy. So it may sound a bit clanky. It is 23 years old, I think. Yeah, it's 23 years old. Now you're going to stitch your sleeves to your front. So find that one notch there. And line that up. And we're going to stitch our sleeve in there to our front. Then when you've done that, you can stitch your side seam. So what you need to do now is match up the notches on the side that you've cut in and also the underarm seams here need to match and then you can stitch all the way down the side seam starting from the underarm all the way down to the bottom hem. regular machine now because we're going to stitch our neckband. So I want to fold that in half lengthways and we're going to bring those two notches together 
and we're going to stitch down here. Now what you might want to do is just measure around your neck and you might want to take a little bit off this because if you're like me and you've got a, a small neck sometimes they can be a bit big and baggy. So you might want to check it first before you do this. I know that I've worked on this pattern before so I've already made adjustments to it so I'm just going to leave mine as it is. So I'm going to stitch that now. And then we're going to fold it over. So this seam wants to be lying flat. I'm going to fold it over so that the wrong sides are facing. Now decide at this point if you want it as thick as that. If you want it narrower you can trim it. You don't have to have it this width. You can trim it if you wish. So that's up to you. And now we're going to pin that to our neckband. This point, this seam, goes to the centre back. So if you want to fold your centre back, uh, fold your back in half and make a little notch in the centre back so you know where that is and then match up that point and then you're going to evenly space it out and pin it around the neck. So when you've pinned it and you stitch it on you do want a narrow zigzag stitch and you do want to have to stretch on it a little bit because if you don't and it just fit perfect like it would be quite baggy. So you want a narrow zigzag stitch you might want to make the stitch a little bit smaller as well and pull on it as you go because you are going to be pulling it over your head so it does want to have some stretch in it. Right, I've changed to a twin needle now and I've trimmed away some of the excess on the inside. Now I'm going to push that downwards and I'm going to stitch on the outside with my twin needle here. doing the same on my hem using my twin needle just turning it up top stitching from the right side and it catches it all in look so this is it finished I'll stand up so you can see a little bit better now I may actually take a little bit in under the arms to make that a narrower sleeve but it's okay as it is. So I hope that's been useful, showing you again that you can use up your scraps and have another item in your wardrobe. We've all got lots of scraps to use up, haven't we? So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up. It's much appreciated. And I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.